In today's video, I'm going to continue talking about visual specifications, and I'm going to go over document settings. Now, in the previous video, I showed you how to change the visual specifications of individual objects on the Doodle board. What if you wanted to change a group of objects all at once? Well, that's fairly easy. You can go to the Chem Doodle menu and click on Preferences, and then go to the Visuals tab, and you'll see a lot of sections here that are very similar to the windows that pop up when you right-click an individual object and click on Format Object. Um, and you can make very similar changes as were demonstrated before, um, like so. And you can change pretty much anything that appears. Um, one interesting thing about this window is that this window isn't just used to change the appearance of selected objects. This window also changes the document settings for the document. Uh, document settings are like visual specifications that apply to the document as a whole. Um, they are separate from visual specifications in that visual specifications apply to individual objects on the Doodle board. Now, in addition to changing this molecule to make it look sort of with a funny Christmas theme, um, also, you'll note that any new atoms and things that I add to the Doodle board also conform with the same style because the document settings have been changed. And if I want to conform one of these previously existing molecules with uh, the new document settings, all I have to do is go to the content menu and then click conform to document settings, and then it's done. Um, document settings can be saved by going to the visuals tab and clicking on page and then clicking create chemical document settings file like so and this window pops up and so you can apply document settings to new documents if you wish um, and there are also a number of pre-saved document settings files that you can conform a whole document to by going to edit and conform document um, most of these are publication standards um, the most interesting one is ACS document 1996 and so if I click OK on this window I'll be asked a series of questions. Do I want to conform all the text? Do I want to change all the scaling? And do I want these to be the, the default settings? And as you can see, the entire visual appearance of the document has changed to conform with this very professional publishing standard. That's been my brief demonstration of document settings within ChemDoodle and visual specifications. Uh, please stay tuned for our next video.